stuff hey and my name is howard janet but you can call me hugh for short my number two died from a catfish sting but that's not going to stop us from looking for a bunch of vertebrates and i'm philip perry can you use my initials for short i'm only here because they pay me a lot of money and because the inane idiot isn't here all right we're on the hunt for our first vertebrate our first vertebrate we are going to be looking for is the perch. It's a fish that lives in water. Oh look, we see one now. Are you gonna stab paper again? It is not paper, it is a perch. Okay. Boom, now we have a perfectly dissected fish. Let's just look at that beautiful perch. All right, time to get my paycheck, yeah. All right, so uh, this is the anus of the everywhere. perch right here. And uh, basically what happens is the fish will eat. It'll go down this tube all the way down here and so its guts and stuff, its intestines, and then come out this hole right here. And uh, gets rid of its waste matter that it doesn't use to convert into energy. Uh, here's a nice uh, section of its muscle right here. This basically gets rid of all the stuff that's not needed for this or that. Looks like a perfectly good ecosystem to find the rest of our vertebrates. Oh look! There's a tadpole. Why can't we dissect these? We actually went out and found actual animals this time. Well, there's a tadpole. There must be a mother frog. All right. Ooh, I found one there. I hate my life. Boom. We have a perfectly dissected froggy boy. All right. Number two, the froggy boy. So this is the frog. Okay, he's a very nice little vertebrate, one of the simplest to dissect. Um, back behind all his organs back here should be his uh, vertebrate. Uh, should be his vertebrae or his spinal column. That's what separates uh, these animals from the ones we dissected last time. Uh, over here are his guts and stuff, which lead out to the anus down here, which is right beneath, uh, behind his tail. That's how he gets rid of all the excrement. And uh, something unique about the froggy boy is he's an amphibian, which means he can live on both land and water. So, uh, his diet's pretty varied. Yeah. And this grayish area right here is his uh, bladder. Um, the bladder helps get rid of uh, liquid waste, which is uh, something vertebrates need much more than invertebrates, or larger organisms in general need bladders. We are looking for our next vertebrate, the dogfish shark. Dude, what took you so long? I learned how to teleport from all the BS ages ago. All right, let us look. I have found the dogfish shark. It looks like it's in trouble, but let's perfectly dissect it. Okay, so this is our perfectly dissected dogfish shark. That's actually a shark, not just a piece of paper I put on the ground with pictures of a dissected exactly. dogfish shark. And, uh, here is the stomach of the dogfish shark, this gray structure here, which leads down this way uh, through its intestines, which are this grayish mass over here that will lead over here down to its anus. We have a better picture of it right here. And this is where it excretes all the waste that it gets. We are looking for our next vertebrate, the pig. Ooh, a pig now. Let us dissect. Guardian of the Peppa Pig cannot hurt it as long as I'm alive. I challenge you to a duel. Alrighty, I accept. Fool, you are going to die today. I, the Guardian of the Squid, I mean pig, because you, you made me lose my job, dumbhead. Will die. No, you. Uh oh. Just kidding! You thought I was weak! video production that they gave me a lightsaber and called me a Jedi Master. 
And uh, I got to see my old boss die, which was pretty worth it in the end. And I've got a lightsaber, so uh, I'm gonna go meet up with Yoda for lunch on Dagobah. See ya, nerds. Okay, so in honor of my old boss, uh, instead of burying him and paying for his funeral, costing me thousands of dollars in an honorable fashion, uh, I decided to finish his job worm and show you a dissected pig. Also, Yoda canceled on me because he's a big, fat, green idiot. Or short, green idiot, whatever. So, here we see a perfectly dissected fetal pig. Uh, it's very similar to human anatomy, this pig, so it's actually pretty cool. So, if you see right here, these are its guts. So, uh, and over towards here is uh, its anus. Up here is the head. So it'll eat, it'll come down here towards the stomach area, then down these guts, down towards here, which is the anus. And uh, it'll excrete all the waste material in a, in a fashion similar to a human. This fetal pig also has a bladder underneath all these intestines back here, which is uh, used to excrete liquid waste, which is very useful for animals that don't naturally absorb all the water they need into their systems that can just get rid of the excess.